Welcome friends. Let us continue to study steam generation on my YouTube channel. Kindly like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. The topic included in today's lecture is external work done and internal energy of steam and numerical on that. Now numerical. Find the internal energy of 10 kilogram of steam having Pressure of 18 bar for following cases. So ultimately we have to calculate the internal energy. And they have given us 10 kilogram of steam. And the pressure is 18 bar. And for the following cases. Case A 0 0.85 dry steam. Dry and saturated steam. And temperature of steam is 250 degrees Celsius. So again from the numerical. Just we can identify case A is wet steam. Case B is dry and saturated steam and probably the case C will be the superheated steam. Again, we have to compare the temperature of steam with the temperature or the, that is saturation temperature from the steam table. So the data mass of steam is 10 kilogram, pressure of steam is 18 bar bars. There are two only data they have given. Let us start first. So as they have given us the pressure of steam 18 bar. So from 18 bar, we have to find out some data from the steam table. So from uh, at 18 bar from steam table, T set is 207.11, HF, HFG, HG, VF and VG. So these are the data that we require to calculate the numerical. Case A, 0.85 dry steam. So as they have given us the dryness fraction, that is, wet steam is given. So, X is equal to 0 0.85. And we have to calculate the internal energy. So, what is the equation of internal energy? U wet is equal to H wet minus P into V wet. That is external work done wet. So, what is the total? You can say the equation. Yes, it is HF plus X into HFG minus pressure of steam in bar into 10 raised to 2 multiplied by X into VG. Now let us check which data we have. HF, yes, from steam table. X, given in the numerical. HFG, from steam table. Pressure of steam in bar, yes, given in the numerical. X, given in the numerical. VG, from steam table. So we have all the data. Substitute the value of data. And calculate. So we are going to get answer. Specific internal energy of wet steam is equal to 2339.6 kilojoule per kg. But here they have given us 10 kilogram of steam. So we have to find out total internal energy. Clear? So it is capital U wet is equal to mass of steam multiplied by U wet. So it is 10 multiplied by whatever the answer we have received. And due to that capital U wet is equal to 23396 kilojoule. Now case B. What is case B? They have already given dry and saturated steam. And what is the equation? U dry is equal to H dry minus PV dry. So what is the, uh, you can say, equation? HF plus HFG minus P pressure of steam in bar multiplied by 10 raised to 2 multiplied by VG. Again, let us see what data we have. HF, HFG from steam table. Pressure of steam in bar given in the numerical. And VG from the steam table. So, substitute the data. And on calculating, we are going to get specific internal energy of dry steam is equal to 2596.36 kilojoule per kg. Yes, this is not the, you can say, final answer. For getting the final answer, we have to multiply this answer by mass of steam. So, capital U dry is equal to mass multiplied by specific internal energy. Multiplying by 10, we are going to get 25963.6 kilo joule. Let us take the case C. Temperature of steam is 250 degrees Celsius. 
let us compare the temperature of steam given in the numerical with the saturation temperature yes temperature given in the numerical is greater than the saturation temperature it means the given steam is superheated steam and given temperature in the numerical is superheated temperature so t steam is equals to t soup is equals to 250 degree celsius so now we have to calculate the specific internal energy of superheated steam so u soup is equals to h soup minus pv soup now writing down the equation hg plus cp of steam multiplied by t soup minus t set minus pressure of steam in bar into 10 raised to 2 multiplied by v soup so initially we have to calculate the v soup and then we have to put all the values clear so let us calculate the v soup so v soup is equals to vg multiplied by t soup by t set putting the value as we have discussed this temperature must be in kelvin and so we are going to get V soup is equals to 0 0.1202 meter cube per kg. And this V soup we have to substitute in the equation of specific internal energy. So that is the specific uh, internal energy. Hg from steam table, Cp of steam is constant that is 2.1. T soup given in the numerical, T set from the steam table pressure of steam in bar given in the numerical and v sub just we have calculated so putting all this value and calculating we are going to get the answer specific internal energy for the superheated steam is equals to 2668.61 kilojoule per kg yes this is not the final answer Yes, total internal energy for the superheated steam is equals to mass of steam multiplied by specific internal energy of superheated steam. So it is 10 multiplied by the answer. So ultimately we are going to get 26686.1 kilo joule. Let us solve the another problem to determine the mass. Yes, determine the mass of 0 0.15 meter cube of wet steam at a pressure of 4 bar and dryness fraction of 0 0.8. It means the problem says that some steam or wet steam is available, pressure is 4 bar and dryness fraction is this, but it has the volume of 0 0.15 meter cube. See, that is total volume. This is not the specific volume, that is meter cube per kg. So this 0.15 meter cube is the mass of, uh, sorry, uh, uh, you can say volume of the total mass. So it can be 1 kilogram, 2 kilogram, 3 kilogram, whatever it is. And whatever the mass is there, that kilogram is there, that we have to calculate. So let us see the data given. Total volume of wet steam, capital V wet is equal to 0.15 meter cube. Pressure of steam is 4 bar. Dryness fraction of steam X is equal to 0.8, that is wet steam. So from steam table we have to get some data at p is equals to 4 bar and vg is 0 0.462 so what is the equation for the total v that is the total volume of wet steam that is mass of steam multiplied by specific volume of wet steam now total volume of wet steam they have already given that is 0.15 meter cube mass we have to calculate so we are required to calculate specific volume of wet steam and if we know the specific volume of wet steam, we can get the mass. So let us calculate the specific volume of wet steam. The specific volume of wet steam is equals to x multiplied by vg. x given in the numerical, yes, that is 0.8, and vg from the steam table. So we are going to get vg is equals to 0.3696 meter cube per kg. It means if steam is at 4 bar and dryness fraction is 0.8 it will have a volume 0 0.3696 per kilogram of steam and what is the total volume of steam 0.15 so here it is write down that total volume is 0.15 mass of the steam that we have to calculate and specific volume of wet steam is 0.3696 so ms is equals to 0 0.4058 kilograms so in that particular place, 
mass of the steam is 0 0.4058 kilogram. Kindly like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.